So ownership in BDS terms pertains to the relationship between a dominant and, and submissive. So when you are talking about being owned, this is in the sense it's a relationship that is associated with an owner, mm-hmm. i.e. the dominant, and a slave, i.e. the slave. Mm. But you don't have to use slave. You don't have to use dominant. You can use whatever, you know, kind of terminology you and your partner want to use. Right. Right. This means what you want it to mean. Like, obviously, this goes without saying. I feel like we we all know this, but I'm just going to repeat myself. Like, as with everything in a um, dom-sub relationship, the definition in terms of ownerships are communicated about and negotiated. Um, some people, they're like, they can come to this quickly. Other people, other people kind of takes a while to negotiate the terms. But there shouldn't, but you should be comfortable if it takes you a long time to talk about it, if it takes you a short time to talk about it, if you you must be going into it with a fuck yes. Yeah, Do you know no, what I mean? No rushing. No rushing. I mean, this is something that I think specifically as women we do a lot is we compare ourselves to other women. We compare our relationships to our friends' relationships with their partner or partners. And mm-hmm. and I think that's that's where, you know, societal pressure and norms can step in and make you feel like you're rushing into something when you're not ready for it. So, I mean, we we cannot stress or emphasize how important communication is mm-hmm. in any relationship, especially one involving sex. 